Good evening folks, been a long time I know, I thought I'd just throw a little update on, on how things are going, um, not been a lot happening on my end, just be, just really maintaining what's been, what I've got really, um, Fry are doing great guns, you see, growth's coming on nicely, not not massive growth to be honest. Um, it's not been heated in there since well since summertime. Um, if you remember rightly on one of my other videos, uh, we had the issue with the heater in here where it was giving off some current and basically caught fire. So we took that out and I've not heated since then. Uh, there was no there was no need to during the summer months. The, the water temp was was maintaining fine. So. I've held off putting a heater in. Uh, I've now put one in. I put one in over the weekend on Saturday because uh, the water was getting a little bit chilly in here. So uh, I got hold of a heater off uh, Amazon and got that in. I put, I've not put that actually in the pond. I've put it in this um, the K1 chamber here. So it's not fully submerged. Uh, it's only a 300 watt aquarium heater. It only cost, I think it was cost 14, 15 quid. Uh, reviews were pretty good on that one, so I thought I'll give that a go, see how we get on with it. Heating it fine, I've got it set to 18 degrees at the moment, which is which the, the, the coil loving it. Um, but yeah, we're doing great guns. You said not much, well, not any, nothing's changed at all. Um, just, just maintenance, really, but these are coming on really well. I've got one of the other fry from the first batch I got from Euphorus Coy in there at the moment. Uh, I come down on Sunday and he was floating on the top of the outside pond. Uh, so I took him out, uh, quarantined it in a bowl, put an air stone in, took a few scrapes just to check. Um, scrapes were all clear. There's no visible signs of any sores or anything. Uh, but within a couple of hours, he perked right up. Uh, so I think it was just, I mean, it was, it was really cool over the weekend. In the morning time, it was it was two degrees. So I think I think it was just a little bit of shock, I think, I'm hoping anyway. But see, soon, since he's been in here, it's been great, you see. He's a happy as laddie. But we really piled the size on since it's been outside, since I, I put them all outside. But these little fellas are doing great. I said, not massive amounts of growth, but we're getting there. Hopefully, we'll start putting some size on now we're heated a bit. I don't want them to grow too quick because my plan is to keep them in here all over the winter because uh, I've got not really got the space to put them anywhere. Well, I haven't got the space to put them anywhere else, so um, I don't really want them to grow really quick yeah but they're doing great some really i mean a lot of the colors are coming out in them now there's some really beautiful good stories in there so we should have some real nice fish yeah to grow on start of spring next year obviously all these will be getting i'll be only be picking the best out of these to keep yeah and the rest will be getting sold on but yeah all doing well. I've just given them a feed and put some sinking food in because these fry seem to like the sinking pellets, so that's what all this is on the bottom here. Yeah, just to try and coax them about whilst I'm, I'm, I'm filming to show you guys how they're getting on. But as I say, no massive, ch no, no, no massive change at all. Just basically maintenance been going on. Um, I'll take it over and show the outside pond in a sec. It's dark out now. Obviously, it's it's obviously we're finishing work, finishing going to work. It's dark, finishing work. It's dark. So there's there's no real time to get videos of the outside pond. Only of weekends. Um, and my kids eat up the weekend, so it's if and when I can. But sorry, it's been so long. I've not, I've I've not done an update. Um, I've I've not even I've I've only been catching up on people's videos past couple of weeks um so sorry i've not commented or liked on any of them folks so i will get round to it um what i have seen off yours is at all doing a cracking job um but yeah 
absolutely fine here. Water is oh, is spot on. Been spot on since we rearranged all this setup. Um, as I said, I'm doing my weekly water changes. I do a weekly water change. I probably, I say I probably do like a thirty percent a week water change in here. Um, it seems to do the trick. All, all the levels are, are spot on in here. Um, obviously the water quality, you can see it's it's jinklier. I mean it's a, it's a bit mucky now because I threw a bit of food in, but that'll that'll all be gone. Yeah, uh, pretty soon with these fellas that are just a little bit skittish at the moment because I'm about. But yeah, it's coming to that time of year again now where you know, our hobby gets a bit bored and there's not really much you can do. Um, other than just keep maintaining the, the filters and just checking on them, make sure okay. One thing I'm going to get around to this weekend is knocking a cover together for it, for the outside pond. Um, just basically just to keep to stop any crap, any leaves or anything falling. Because that's what the, to be honest, the last couple of weeks I've just been picking leaves and stuff out. So just to stop any leaves, because I'm I'm not heated, so I don't. It's not. I don't want to keep. You no, know, that the the cover won't do me any favors with with the heat. Uh, it's more just to keep any crap out and heat off any ice or anything like that. But but yeah, these are all doing they're all doing wicked. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see how they get on in the next next couple of months with when it's heated in here. I mean, I said this is holding eighteen degrees in here now. Yeah, the, the temperature in here it's holding at what twelve degrees. So he he should be happy as laddie in yeah. Um, we'll just take you across, and I'll give you just give it a quick showing of the outside pond. Excuse it, the video because it is dark outside now. So, um, we'll take you out there to see them. So guys, again, apologies for the video quality. It's dark out now. Um, I am planning on putting some spotlights on either end, putting into the pond. Um, getting around to it, you know what it's like. Wouldn't think I'm an electrician, so to do that is a piece of cake for me. But it's having the time to do it. Um, but these guys are doing absolutely brilliant. Um, surprisingly, over the past couple of weeks, there's been a um, good bit of growth off them. Water quality is superb in this one again. Uh, that, that shower has been a godsend. Uh, building that one has been really good. The amount of crap that takes out is unbelievable. And since I've added that one, uh, not only does it look better, uh, it's massively, massively improved water quality. quality. Um, I am going to change the pump on it. It's only got a cheap, I think it's, it's a thousand or fourteen hundred litres an hour pump on it. Um, so it's not the best pump on it, but it's still doing, it's doing a grand job. Um, I am going to put a better pump on it. I'm going to get a very flow pump. Probably going to get a, a get a, a ten thousand liter variable pump and just split it between the two filters. Um, saves having two two pumps going in there at once. Maybe we'll just get the very flow one. And split it between the shower and the, uh, the setup I've got here. But yeah, these are all doing great. Still, still feeding a little bit. Cut, cut right back on feeding now. I'm only feeding them once a day, but they are, they are still taking food. Um, but they're all doing good. But there's been some of them. There's um, changes in colour in some of them. Some have totally changed. There's one. In there, I mean, you can't really see it now because of the night time. But I did have a um, well, it was a, pl a platinum organ, but it looks like it's gonna be a Kujaku now, like a really, a really dark copper and platinum Kujaku. Look, it looks like it's gonna be a stunning fish. Um, the one that um, I, I got from. I got the last lot of uh, fry, the first lot, sorry, from, from New Forest Curry. One of them has turned out to be a Harawaki, which is an absolute stunning fish. But yeah, these are all doing good. They're all still nosy as anything, all still coming up. 
one thing we have noticed about the colder weather it's it's made them a lot more placid and slowed them down a lot so they come, they're not as skittish now when you come up to the pond and they will actually come up to the surface too yeah but yeah all doing good and again apologies for the dark video folks just wanted to get something out to you to just to, to let you know that I'm still about and I'm still cracking on um, I'm going to catch up on everyone's videos in the next couple of days um, and get back in touch with you all commenting I mean I, I have said I've, I've seen a few and then I've commented on a few already but yeah all is good here just getting ready to wind down for the winter time now and so get the, these covers built for it over the weekend hopefully and then it's just basic basic maintenance then through the winter um, I mean there won't be massive maintenance like I won't be pulling filters out obviously there's not going to be great deals of, of waste obviously because the feeding's going to drop right down so filter wise um, pump wise it'll it'll be the pump won't be coming out it'll stay in and it'll be minimum minimal maintenance because I don't really like disturbing them during winter time so it'll just be basic water changes and giving the sponge and that a blast out and stuff like so that giving the drum a blast of the air stones and stuff you know but yeah folks give us a comment and let us know how you are all getting on how your ponds are doing it'd be good to hear off you speak to you soon